Howdy. I've got uh, kind of a two-parter for you today. I uh, want to talk first about millionaire mindset, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about something I had worked on previously. So, part one. I recall hearing a long time ago, there's a story about um, millionaire mindset. And the idea behind that was that people who think like a millionaire don't only work to achieve a million dollars in wealth accumulation, but they work to change their mindset so they can keep that million dollars. It's one thing to go and make a bunch of money. It's another thing entirely to keep that bunch of money. And the one story I was reminded of this morning, actually, was the story of toothpaste. Now, a lot of people might look at a toothpaste roll that's kind of got this much left, left and say, okay, I can get a couple days out of that and then I'm done. I'll probably squeeze another week out of that, that little bit of toothpaste there. And this going to be wrapped, there's going to be nothing left. I'm going to squish it right out. And, you know, that's the difference, I think, between a lot of what a lot of people do. Like, I've, one of my personal pet peeves has always been I look at these videos of these, these, internet gurus and they've got their stupid Lamborghinis I'm like well maybe if that's your goal in life then it seems so superficial but I would challenge that they're not really mind that they don't have a wealth mindset because if you're spending that much money on, an, on a, a vehicle whether you bought it or you've renting it or you leased it or whatever that is such a waste of money like I have a real problem spending more than 50,000 bucks on a vehicle because the second you drive that sucker off a lot, you're lost 20, 30% off into depreciation. Gone. It, it, that's just throwing money out. Like, why waste so, so much money? It's so hard to make it, and that's how you lose it. And if you're not squeezing the little bits of stuff out of the, even just the toothpaste, you're going to continue losing your money. So this is a little bit embarrassing, but I've, <laughs> I've got this pair of these Beats. These are these lovely, uh, you know, this, this headset here. And... Um, I've had these for several years, but what's happened now is I'm going to try and show this on the camera here. The ear pieces have been sloughing off their little fake le leather. So I love these things. Like they have really good noise cancelling, really good audio. But I, the only problem is, and I'm making a big mess here, but the only problem with them is the stupid ear pieces are sloughing off this black garbage. And But they still work great. <laughs> I want to go pay another 250 bucks. So what I did is I took a sock... And I wrapped it around to keep all that black crap in there. I put a little hole so I can get the I can you know get the audio cord in there, and I can charge it over here. And I'm gonna get a little bit more time out of it. So I'm working on my millionaire mindset, and so I'm challenging you to make a mess. Whoops! So you can see the big mess I made here. So I'm challenging you to, <laughs> to go into your own world, find stuff that's not necessarily the best. Figure out a way to keep it just a little bit longer. Now, that's all. That's the millionaire mindset I just want to share with you. Just focus on that. Think about it. Think what you can do. Now, about, I don't know, last week, mid last week, I had talked about working on my software company. I'm trying to uh, streamline my onboarding process for my, my beloved customers. And I want to make it easier for them to do make some quick wins, get in the system, you know, try things out at, at a pace that's you know, it's fruitful for them and it's going to give them encouragement that the simple things are done quick quick and, and they can kind of go run run with it on their own because I just want to get them, you know, slowly accelerate them into a position of, of you know, being able to self-sustain and get them running so that they're able to get the best value out of this investment they're making. So to that end, I went, set out to itemize using my 1585 rule. Here are the 17 different topics I need to cover for them and the first few videos were you know a minute max and then they got a little bit longer two and a half minutes and the last one I think is about five five minutes so anyway that took me a long time and I've learned a little bit about that because one I, I have I paid for an upgrade on some video editing software and it was I, I, I'm so glad I did it I've saved so much time and I've kind of been using it now to create these videos so you'll notice a little bit more animation and stuff like that coming in but pick the right tools it's, it'll save some time if you have the wrong tools it'll waste your time so that's my, my philosophy there now so I, I, I'm going to do a little bit of a demo here I'll show you what I did with those videos and how I'm kind of implementing those into my software system 
uh, and um, as a kind of a first first round of making that work for my customers. So let's uh, we'll dive right into that that demo next here. But just before I get into that demo, I got to clean up more of this black crap from these stupid beats. Oh, what a mess! Ah, it's everywhere. Ugh. I've logged into my test database here, so I've got no like no data here. But what would happen for the customer who's starting their new journey with their my system? is they would see this onboarding journey progress bar at the top here and they can click to open up this special tab that shows all the different you know check marks of what they can accomplish to get themselves to completely self-sustained now it might seem like a lot but this they're just quick little things like one's like changing a time zone setting it's super easy so i created a video for this particular topic and the user will click that, and I'm going to probably make this a little bit bigger. It's really small there, so there's all this, all this white space. May as well use it. Uh, they would watch the video. I completed this step. It just moves them, advances them along into the journey, shows the step two, et cetera, et cetera. A new, the, the next video shows up for each of these different topics, and just they just click and watch and do the steps, and they're off to the races. It's pretty easy. Uh, simple enough and they can carry on and I mean that's a quite a few things we're covering here to basically go through all the core functionality on this menu on the left here and they're able to do that and then once it's all done um, they click the last step that goes away and they're all done they've graduated so they can close that tab and carry on with their life yeah that's what it does